First of all, to tell you, um, fetal sexing is a very accurate procedure. Um, I'm old enough now that I've done thousands of them, and um, looking at them in that first window, which is between 55 and 75 days, um, there only have been several that I have gotten wrong. So that's several out of thousands, so 99% plus. Um, that uh, you have success with. Um, there are two windows of opportunity in fetal sexing. Uh, the first window is the preferable one for me and for most people, and that's 55 to 75 days. The fetus at that stage is about the size of a large mouse, and it's floating around in a pool of fluid about the size of a football. And you can almost always, if you're patient, get it in the proper position to determine the sex of the fetus. The second window, um, first of all, after 75 days, the fetus starts to drop down and is no longer visible, but it comes back up around 105 to 110 days, and you can get to it then. And fetal sexing then can also be done. Unlike the first stage where you're looking for the the genital tubercle, you're looking for either the penis in the colt or the udder in the filly. And the fetus at that stage is about the size of a cat. And as it matures, obviously, it's getting bigger. Uh, here's some um, images of fetal sexing. Um, on the left is the colt with the genital tubercle in front of the hind legs. And we're determining the sex by looking at the genital tubercle and determining its location relative to other anatomical structures. So in the colt, it's in front of the hind legs. In the filly, on the right there, it's behind the legs next to the tail head. Now, at the 120-day position, uh, the fetus is larger, obviously, and you're looking for both hind legs. And between the hind legs and the colt, you're going to see the penis. And in the filly, you're going to see the udder. And you can even see the little teats on the udder, and they show up as a, a brighter white area. So why do people get their mares fetal sexed? I think that the primary reason is for valuation of the, the mare and the fetus. Um, in today's times, um, people are really analyzing almost all the data they can get um, to try to stay in business. And um, if they're considering selling their mare, or they do sell their mare, the sex of the foal that she's carrying will make a big difference, in many cases, in her value. Some mares enfold a certain stallions. The fetus is more valuable if it's a colt. Some more valuable if it's a filly. Um, the other reason that people um, do fetal sexing is determining the equity how much the value of the mare is for either insurance purposes or for appraisal purposes. Um, it also may be important in deciding where the mare is going to fall. I have one client uh, from Japan who sends <coughs> mares with, that are carrying colts to Japan to fall, but if they're in foal with a filly, he keeps them here. So it can make a difference in where they'll end up sending the mare to foal. It also may be helpful in determining uh, future income. Some people keep all their colts, sell their fillies, or vice versa. If they have 20 mares and they have a year that most of their mares uh, conceive colts, then that's going to affect their future income. Likewise, it would be different if they all conceive fillies. Um, there are other reasons that it can be done. I think uh, one reason people do it is just curiosity. They just want to know what their mirror is going to have. And I think that's fine. Um, it can also be helpful in determining who you're going to breed the mare to the next year. If you've always wanted to have, say, a filly by Medagliadoro and she's carrying a colt, then you may decide, I'm going to send her back to Medagliadoro the next year to try to get that filly. Um, fortunately, I've never been um, asked uh, to terminate a pregnancy because the owner wasn't happy with the sex she was carrying. Um, I think there are several reasons for that. Um, one is um, people just wouldn't do that. 
um, a filly or a colt is still going to be more valuable than nothing. Um, mares, when your fetal sex them, they're at the stage that they're unlikely going to cycle back that same year, so you're going to miss a year on them anyway. I'm told that um, in some polo pony herds in South America, where they really like to have fillies, a uh, filly or a mare as a polo pony does much better than a, a stallion or a gelding. And I'm told that they do sometimes terminate pregnancies there, but fortunately that's not an issue for us.